Hey guys, how we doing? We are back playing some more Frostborn. How we going guys? Sorry I have been posting as often as I would have liked for this game here. I really wanted to get the first video out nice and early when the game just got uh, released into the uh, Google Play Store at this minute. So I'm not too sure at the moment if iOS has been updated. Hopefully it has and you guys on iOS are starting to, in, uh, to enjoy this game. But everyone that's on Android or whoever's using emulators or anything like that, I um, hope you guys are having a blast with this game. So I wanted to have a, just show you guys quickly what I've done in between videos. Um, like I said, it's been about a week since I uploaded the first video. So I wanted to show naturally a bit of progression there from myself and what I've been doing. Now I haven't been playing a whole ton as, I'm, as I probably would have liked to throughout the week. Obviously playing a few games um, in between and plus this game as well, just sort of, you got to sort of balance your load, so to speak. So, with that being said, so right now you can see I'm on level 19, I'm going to hit level 20 soon. Um, and that's obviously going to unlock more opportunities, you know, for you to craft and all that sort of jazz. So, so far there's a few things that I've got going for me at the moment, so I've got now accessibility to the stronger um, hatchets and pickaxes so I'll be able to start mining for copper hopefully a little bit further down um, it's obviously going to be a bit of a, a challenge in doing so especially the only place that I know of at the moment that you can get uh, copper will be in the PvP uh, zone so it is what it is but what can you do and then finally you know some updated armor things like that got the ability to get accessibility to the loom which I nearly have everything I just need a little bit more glue and we're good to go but I also have paid attention a little bit more to my base as well so I've, I've expanded it out a little bit I've gone with a three by three honeycomb system at the moment um, for now <coughs> excuse me now this might change um, I'm thinking possibly doing a, um, a one by one honeycomb you know in the in, uh, immediate perimeter of the main central location of my base I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I'm thinking about that and then sort of expanding it out by one more tile and retain the 3x3 for now, but we'll we'll see how we go. I haven't really thought about it yet. Um, just some thoughts about that, so I just figured, you know what, we'll have a look. Now, <coughs> for, excuse me, sorry guys. For today's video, I'm going to do something a little bit different compared to everybody else that I've been looking at, been checking out. Everyone so far has been um, pretty much uh, getting into families and running some PvP zones and also getting into the dungeon areas as well of the game which is great, which is awesome. Now I'm not going to do that today, I'm going to focus on more of this solo run. So for you guys that are more solo orientated for now or depending on what stage you are in the game, it all sort of comes down to how you sort of want to play. If you able, if you guys aren't able so far and not uh, able to find a family or anything like that yet to, you know, uh, join up and do a bit of PvP action, raids and things like that. Obviously, you know, you guys need to survive, build your own character up, your own base um, and everything else. So this is what I wanted to cover today and sort of let you know what I've been doing, how I've been doing it. And hopefully this may help you guys as well. So it's going to be a little bit different compared to everyone else, so that's what we want to sort of um, cap off today. And, you know, to give you guys a bit of an idea as well, I'm not sort of giving you, you know, um, full expectations on this would be the definitive way of doing it. As you can see, I'm just sort of rifling through my, what I feel my most prized possession, so my central part of my base. And just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea on what you guys could achieve even if you do it as a solo pa um, player for now and you know whether it changes or not in future for yourselves um, at least you guys have got hopefully something to take away from this video and I really hope that you guys do so if you guys gonna you know if you guys enjoy Frostborn um, enjoy my channel make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button notification bell all that sort of good stuff so for now we're just going to run over to one zone and I'm going to go to a zone specifically that I know that there's no interaction with other players and just sort of effectively just run the zone, get what I need and sort of get myself out of there. 
And then what I might do, hopefully I can get this on, um, on video today, I'll run into a red zone and sort of give you guys an idea on how I sort of um, duck in and out, get into, um, you know, the, uh, the, the underground as well, and hopefully you guys get a, something out of it. But let us do our standard bits and pieces. So usually for me, I sort of like to scan the perimeter of a zone whether it's a PvP or that of a non-PvP zone. And I'm actually glad that the the developers here have actually oop, have added non-PvP zones, which obviously makes a whole lot of sense in the world to do that. Yeah, let's just switch over to that. Whoops. Uh, yeah, so more or less, I mean, you essentially have to have non-PvP zones. I mean, if you do or don't have it, I should say, rather. It obviously makes the game a little bit harder for everyone to sort of, you know, tackle and obviously progress in the game. I don't know why I'm attracting these guys, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So for me, I just sort of do my little quick scan around and then I sort of move my way in and then work out who am I going to either attack or, um, you know, to get to, you know, certain loot pieces and things like that. And unfortunately, I got the attention of this guy here, which is not too bad, considering the the, uh, the weapons that I have at the moment. And right now, we'll just see if we can loot this undetected. And that's another thing I've, I've noticed too. Um, the last day on Earth, um, Grim Soul, I believe in even Westland, if I'm not mistaken. As soon as you um, sneak up to a chest and you try to uh, proceed to loot it, you're going to attract the attention of enemies, and which is a bit of a pain for some people, and I totally get that because I, I do get frustrated with that as well. But what they seem to have done in this sense is you can actually creep up to a chest and proceed to loot it without being detected. And traditionally, you know, with this type of game, you do get, you know, um, found out. So. So I'm happy with that, and that sort of helps a lot of players, you know, in the early stages, do a lot of uh, looting without having to worry about um, impact on on being discovered or you know or having a fight of your life, so to speak, if you haven't got the um, the ability to do so in the first place. So being a little bit on the careless side with this one here, so that's fine. And to be perfectly honest with you as well. You can more or less run in a zone and do your best as much as you can. And in most cases, you may or may not need to get um, a certain armor to, or weapons for that matter, to take down enemies. So just like you've just seen there, you do take a bit of a hit. Yes, you do, and you do burn possibly you know a little bit more resources here to you know finish off a. Um, a harder enemy such as that, but you can more or less run in with no armor, the fists alone, and you could basically be okay. And to the point where you might even just get by without even having to take any heals with you, more or less just take or find heals around where you are, so all the berries that you can find. And yeah, you pretty much just find yourself, oop, have the, you know, have that ability to farm zones and you can just walk away with essentially a lot of loot as well at the same time so I think there's only two chests here which is um, not what I was actually after I mean I was hoping to get all three chests here usually the green zones you do get three chests so I'm not too sure why there's only two in this particular map but what do you do I'm just sort of gonna get myself out of their proximity and I'm just going to run around this way to see and just make sure that there wasn't anything that I've missed here beforehand. Which looks like I've seen everything, maybe? Okay. Alright, so it looks to be that that's pretty much the zone. There's nothing too much out of interest here. I'm not going to bother with myself with everyone around here. I just sort of, I just sort of give you a, a minor tour. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. So we'll duck out, we'll run back home. I'm gonna unload, I'll, I'll um, 
heal up with what I've got, all that sort of stuff. And I'm gonna jump over to the red zone now. I'm fingers crossing, I'm hoping that I can do what I wanted to do and at least show you guys what or how I sort of done what I've done so far. And it's not always foolproof. You are definitely gonna get caught out, so it is the risk that you take. So the only thing that I would suggest for you guys to do is take as little as you can what you think you may need and don't take anything that's going to um, you know impact you in game you know for whether it's short or long term so that's the last thing you guys want to do to yourselves so I'm just gonna get rid of some of these items here okay looks like I've got enough of everything here did I there we go Okay, so I'm just going to drop some of these things off here. And so I'm trying to get organization onto my... There's got to be um, a put all... There needs to be a put all button. A take all button is fine, but you've got to put away everything all in bulk. Uh, which, you know, would be helpful. Most definitely. Okay, so I've got that. Alright, let's just dump all these over here. This is all my wood and not that. Okay. So, you know what? Let's just get rid of those. Oop. Yes. Okay. So, I'm, I'm going to equip shoes only. And I think that's probably an important um, focus here as well. So, you want to make sure that you've obviously got enough speed and, you know, quickness to get yourself out of trouble. Because if you don't, you're obviously going to have a bad time, so... And I did one... Oh, I don't want to take that one with me. Oh, okay, why not? I've got another one, so it's fine. Anyway. So... Hopefully I've got enough to do... Um, defend myself. There's some berries, some meat, and some carrots, so... Pretty much three quarters... Of a crossbow. And hopefully this will be enough. So basically, I like to sort of sneak my way around in a red zone and I more or less just go into the bottom, the lower level, loot what I can and pretty much leave. And that's pretty much a rinse and repeat for myself. And, you know, you guys might have a different method of doing it if you guys are playing a solo as opposed to being in a family, of course. Um, but we're going to take our our time with this I'm just gonna try my best so there is a oh okay now you want to be careful here guys I was just gonna look at that copper deposit there unfortunately there's a few people there so you definitely got to be careful now in that sense there you want to be in a zone where there's no one there to begin with so I'm just going to run away and hopefully the zone resets and we'll head back in and then we'll try it once more because if you've got four people there you're not going to you're not going to withstand that that's that's not going to happen you may as well just die already give up so let's just try that once more all right hopefully the map has reset and we can try this one again and look sometimes you actually have to do this i don't think it has i just want to see what this says here for this one you need a strong pick out okay now i don't know if you saw that but to the left of me where those bushes were there was some movement there so i'm guessing there, there are people sitting in there waiting for all unsuspecting people like myself to um, you know, let their guard down. See that you can see the people there; they're already there. And if these guys are organised or smart enough, you might have a bad time where they, you're going to. Okay, you see that? So that little enemy up there. So we're just going to get out real quick. So sometimes you don't know. You obviously don't know. And. You obviously don't want, I don't want to exactly die. So what we might end up doing is I might just run over here just to sort of completely get myself out of that. 
So I really want to show you guys um, exactly what I'm sort of trying to get out here. And hopefully I can do this in one take. If not, I might have to pause the video, try it again, and um, I'll weave it and add it into, into this video. So we'll, we'll see how we go. If not, um, I might just sort of change over, but we'll see how we go. But basically, it's just a matter of sneaking about, getting to the lower level, take what you can, and then getting the hell out of there. That's basically what I, what I usually do. All right, guys. It took a little while, but I got there. So basically, we're going to head over to this tomb here, and hopefully we might uh, get ourselves inside. We've got a little fella here as well. You might even actually end up following me in here too. Um, so basically, yeah, you're just going to sneak around. And basically what I normally do is I just loot what I can. Unfortunately, someone's already have done so here. But at least this way you guys can sort of loot and then get yourselves out of there as soon as it's done. If you want to take anyone on, so... I mean, let's just creep up and see who we're dealing with over here. Oop, no, 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 no. So I've got no choice but to take him down. Anyway, I've got a decent weapon for that, so it's okay. I'll just take that. But yeah, sometimes you get lucky and no one's actually come down here. And then you can loot at least the first two chests without a problem. And then if you want to get, if you're feeling adventurous, you might want to head down a little bit further and um, take out someone else. But there is some pretty heavy customers in here, so I'm not going to bother doing that today. But I just thought I'd get you guys a little bit in on how I sort of do it and how, I've, how I have been doing it up until this point. And if it's something that benefits you guys, you know, use it. But you run the risk, guys, and that's the problem. So the amount of times I wanted to do this on camera as a one-time thing, I didn't get that luxury or all the opportunities. So a um, bit of a pain, but what do you do? So I'm just going to get out of the zone anyway safely. I Prior to coming in to the zone, or, you know, finding uh, the tomb there, I was able to find um, some easy customers to... Uh, take out so I did grab some Okay loot so I ended up getting that little crossbow there so that person probably won't be too happy with me and a couple of other little bits and pieces anyway, but that's The whole idea of this if you're going to run solo play and You don't want to or you haven't had the option or ability yet to team up with anyone um, This could probably be a good way of doing it for now. I mean obviously it's on, it's obviously going to carry you for a little bit to a certain point and naturally you have to sort of hook up with the clan there oh sorry a family i should say um but otherwise hopefully you've got a little bit out of this today and if it's something that's been worth worth it i mean i'm, I'm happy i'm happy that's helped you guys out if not let me know in the comments what how do you guys normally do it are you guys a solo player um so you know if you guys are hooked up with a family great good on you but if you haven't how, how have you guys been surviving up until this point uh what's been some of your best wins um what hasn't um you know any tips for me be pretty much appreciated i'm sure you guys are a much higher level than me for those that are watching for the most part but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little one here i figured that might be a little good um a little bit of uh, a good run and to sort of show you how I've done things up until this point anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for today. So I appreciate you guys tuning in, watching the video. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys are new, hit the subscribe notification bell. You don't miss out on any future videos that I put out. Anyway, take it easy and we shall catch you next time.